Shalom Israel, it's Shaikwa Ban Yisrael. Before I begin, I want to thanks to the Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother, for this opportunity to be a light while I'm in this reality. I also want to greet the angel of the evening, this evening, for Monday evening, which is the angel of peace. Angel of peace. And Monday during the day, the angel is the angel of life, actually, the angel of life. If you read the Essene Gospel of Peace Book 4, you'll see the angel order for the day and the evening and Messiah, he says to commune with them. So I haven't been doing that on my videos. I want to start now in case somebody, uh, I can uh, also encourage a brother or sister to do the same thing. Okay, now the Third Testament, the book of the true life, the Third Testament. I can't say enough about this. This is a miracle, what Messiah has done. He talks differently. He talks plainly. Very easy to understand scriptures. The, the, the things that he talks about in this book are just, they just, if you can't hear his voice, you will hear his voice speaking to you. Why this book hasn't been around for longer than it has, I, I mean, I've only known about it for a couple of days, but I looked at it, I, cert, I, uh, uh, studied i i searched it out to see how long it's been around and the longest i had seen it had been around is a couple of years but the manuscripts were beginning to be compiled in the 1800s i i uh can't go into that right now what you want to do is look at the pdf version of this book like i have on the screen and read the prologue and the introduction and it'll explain how this how this book was compiled and uh some brethren in Mexico were used, and then they were the forerunners for Messiah to come in the power of the word. And now we're at a time where the awakening has begun, has uh, begun in the world, and people are really gravitating to this word and getting new understanding and powerful spiritual understanding and. I have to believe if you come into contact with this, if you come into the knowledge of it, you are blessed. You are sincerely blessed. This is Messiah speaking. He uh, speaking plainly as he said he would in John 16. And one of the things you're going to find out when you read this book is he talks about the plan, the Heavenly Father's plan. He talks about one day speaking in you, using you, not using intermediaries, not using books or the internet, but speaking to you directly. That's what this is about right here, Colossians 1.27. Messiah, he talks a lot about the, the conscience. He, he talks a lot about the conscience. Now, for this video, I wanted to talk about this verse right here. This verse right here. Now, the name of the chapter, I hope you can see it, is called Chapter 21, Omnipotence and Omnipresence of God and His Justice. Right up here. Highlight it. You can't see it on camera yet. should be able to see it now. So, this is out of the book, the Third Testament, the true book of life. And I just love it so much because it just, I get an opportunity to give you a little sample of the things he talks about in this book. I know it's going to get your attention for those of you who've been waiting for this type of word in our nation where it just resonates with your spirit. It's uh, it's fresh overstanding. Messiah, he hits on, he talks about a lot of things. And he really, this, is, this writing is as anointed as anything I've ever read. But enough about that. Let me get into uh, the subject matter that uh, I wanted to share with you today. Now, basically this right here, chapter 54, he basically talks about how we don't need to worry. We don't need to worry about the, uh, the wicked in the world and uh, how they seem to maybe be getting away with things. And we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't carry that burden. In verse 54, starting in verse 54, it says, The justice of men does not pardon, does not redeem, does not love. Mine loves, pardons, redeems, resuscitates, elevates, and enlightens those very ones who have caused humanity such pain. See, 
one of the things when you read this, you go, you're going to hear Messiah talk about the love of God, which passes all, all comprehension. When you read this, the love of God is just beyond, speaking for myself, it's beyond anything I have ever heard. I mean, talking about love for the, his enemies and just the love for the how the law is given as not to afflict or vex man, but is for his benefit. And we've turned away from it. And basically, people, because as a nation, as a world, we we end up afflicting ourselves when we turn our backs on the law. The Heavenly Father will not. He will not stay. He will stay true to his law. And that is how we become purified. When we dedicate ourselves to learning and doing it for our own good, we are purifying ourselves. And it goes on to say here the purpose for trials and how the Heavenly Father uses it to, he uses it to purify us. He says, um, I shall redeem them, talking about people who the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, his people, I shall redeem them. And it's not just, the, it's not just the tribes. He's talking about mankind. That's the thing that's going to be very hard for our nation to receive because he, we are all, I mean, Israel, the 12 tribes are the chosen, but the plan of the will of the Father is to redeem mankind. And that's going to be hard for a lot of brethren in our nation to receive. But, you know, you got to follow the Lamb wherever He goes. And He's certainly going to test your heart. But anyway, He says, I shall redeem them and cleanse them, having them make their great restitution. Now, He's talking about the people who are given to iniquity and in this world and not really storing up or bearing any fruit. But Messiah is saying that they will, is they will have a, uh, at some point, uh, maybe they have to be uh, reincarnated, but they will bear the fruit that the Father wants, the perfection, purification of their spirits. He says, the great restitution which shall be the crucible in which they, those who right now are falling asleep in the world, not bearing any fruit, not redeeming the time, he says, in which they purify themselves, in which they wake fully to the voice of their consciences, their consciences, so that they may come to contemplate the gravest of their works. See, that's the thing. That's the whole picture right there. He gave us a conscience because that's how, that's what, that's the Heavenly Father right there talking to each one of us. He says, I shall make them travel I shall make them travel the road, travel by their victims and their peoples, but in the end they shall achieve spiritual purity in order to return to earth, to restore and reconstruct all that has been destroyed, to make restitution for all that was lost. So there, in a nutshell, Messiah is saying that the wickedness that's done in the earth, everybody, everybody must make restitution for it. The wicked, the people of this current reality, the people in government, the people, uh, the rulers of countries who line their pockets and they live luxuriously and uh, cause people to be homeless and not be able to make enough money and people who are, they know they're profiting off of the misery of others. We don't, we don't need to carry that burden. We don't need to carry that, that vexation. Messiah, the Heavenly Father, he says that he Every single person will make restitution. Brethren who are running that right now in our nation, you sons and daughters of light, what we what salvation is, what salvation is, and I'm gonna go into this in another video, is having our conscience wiped clean. It's no longer having our works that uh it's it's having um uh, a um, uh, our sins wiped away from our minds. Now there are brethren who will be in the spiritual realm and they will not have their, their conscience will not be wiped clean. It will condemn them. That's why it says in Daniel, 
that there will be some brethren in the spiritual realm in the nation who will walk around with shame on their foreheads. See, that's what we are striving for, even though we may not know it. We want to have our our sins. That's the forgiveness of sins. It's the wiping away of the memory of our sins and iniquities, having our conscience clean, having a white garment, not a spotted garment. You brethren may not know that. You brothers and sisters who are laboring brethren and sisters, that's what's going to happen to us, and we will be able to enjoy the kingdom to the fullest. We will not remember the things, the things that we have done in this reality that was not of the Father, that was things of the world, things of the flesh. We are going to be redeemed in that sense. That's the good news that Messiah talks about in this book. You got to check it out, man. I'm going to be in this for a long time, so stay with me. Uh, forgive me for my uh, uh, lack of uh, uh, complete, clear explanation. Uh, I don't want to uh, confuse anybody, but I just want to testify that we have now been visited. Messiah is here in his word and power, and soon he's going to be dealing with you sons and daughters of light who are laboring, ministering. He is going to be dealing with you di directly, he said. And when I find that verse, I'm going to show it to you. But until then, until I see you again, until I make another video, peace be unto you. Shalom.